strong statement on social media. It's, it's been a you know a couple of hours since then. Can you tell us kind of what the uh, the emotion is like for you right now? Of course, I'm very upset about what happening and like um, more. I'm very sad about all my fans that are gonna like will travel to this fight to support me, and now they like find out this bad news, and I feel very very sorry about them. First of all. Can you tell us when you found out? How did this morning go for you and when did you find out that, that this fight wasn't happening? Um, so my manager Roger, he came to our room and he said like, Oh Valentina, I wish I had good news for you, but I have bad news for you. And I knew what kind of news he has for me. So um, I was like, I told it from the very beginning that she can pull out from the fight in at every moment. And um, she did it. Um, she now in the hospital again. And uh, you know, like sincerely, I'm not believing that real issue is the health because um, she was looking totally fine and like smiling all around uh, during all fight week, uh, speaking so confidence and. She was so sure that this fight will happen and uh, um, like for me, like I said in my social post, it uh, seems like it was her plan from the beginning to show up on the fight week, to build her name up and then try to find like any reason to avoid the fight. She is not doing it for, for very first time, she is doing it already for several times trying to avoid the fight and actually I'm preparing for the fight already for the third time exactly for this fight and uh, like this kind of actions it's totally unprofessional if you are like thinking that you may have some kind of problems with your weight cut you have to start your diet like a little bit earlier and um, Everybody, everybody would do this knowing that they have to fight. But um, I see only one reason why she didn't start her weight cut earlier, that she didn't want to fight from the beginning. Well, I think that's what makes it so unique, is that you've said all along, I don't think she's going to fight, I think she could any time. So what was it? Is, it? is it something about her character, about her as a person? Do you think it's the matchup with you that she doesn't like? Why, why were you so sure that there was a possibility that this wouldn't happen? You know, I think it's all combining all together and um, because how she was acting from the beginning, trying to avoid the fight, it's showing everything about her. For the person who are like, okay, I'm ready for the fight, she will not say never say, okay, I will be ready for 7th, uh, first it was May, then she said, okay, July 7th, and okay, July 28th, no, looks like not a good date for me, so maybe September 8th, okay, like this. Because um, if you are sure you want it, you said, okay, I'm ready. And uh, you can every time manage time where you will be like, feeling good and ready for the fight. But if you are not feeling ready for the fight, you never will be ready for the fight. Last thing for me, what do you think should happen now? Because there's a lot of options, right? Rebook the fight. I've heard people say maybe you should fight in an interim title fight against somebody else. I've heard people say they should strip her of the title. What do you think should happen with this championship? Uh, you know, I think you see will take very right actions about her and they will decide what she deserves and will do exactly the same what she deserves. And for, what about me? I will continue my preparation, keep me moving forward every time and waiting for the next opportunity to uh, take what is mine. Would you rebook a fight with her if they said let's do this in October maybe? Would you be um, okay with that? You know, sincerely, I'm not seeing her holding the belt anymore. I don't know, I don't know. I, it's like, um, like I said, UC will take the right action. And they are who are deciding what they're gonna do. I'm a fighter. I want to win my fight, uh, my belt uh, from the real fight and not from like uh, something else. And here I am just waiting the next opportunity for me. I saw this morning.
turn anything I had to do on Twitter, even calling out Caitlyn and Chuke doing anybody. Uh, was there an effort on your part to try to just find anybody to fight you today? Of course, yes, and I see, I know exactly that you see they was trying to like make it happen anyway. They was contacting a uh, top five fighter from my weight class 125 and uh, trying to get them uh, to the fight. But uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, they could not make a weight and uh, unfortunately it's uh, not happened anymore this Saturday. It's, it's unfortunate that this happened to you again. I mean, just last year we were in the same situation with the manager. It's, is there an increased frustration from your part of having gone through it at this point twice in two years? I don't know. It looks like these girls are not ready for me. <laughs> I don't know what's happened with them. Valentina, since you were so sure that she wasn't going to make the fight, did you reach out to the UFC beforehand and ask maybe why don't we have a backup fighter like the main event did? Um, you know, yes, uh, we had this kind of discussions and I think for the future they're going to have like not only for main event this kind of backup, but for maybe not for every main event, but uh, at least for title fight. Um, I knew that um, it was some fighters in here like uh, present and ready to step in, but um, it was not, not enough time for them to cut this, cut this much of weight. And this is uh, what makes it more frustrating for me. If, if the UFC does decide to put this again, will you ensure at that point demand that there are extra protections put in place just in case something like that just happens to you? Uh, sincerely, I'm not sure that they're going to do it. I'm not sure that um, she still will be here and holding what she's holding right now. I'm not sure. When you say that, have you already had conversations with that it's my, already? It's my opinion. It's my opinion. How did, uh, did you receive your bike purse or your show money as far as payment? Uh, about this, I'm not worried about at all because all this kind of conversation is uh, taking my manager, Roger, and um, but. I know exactly you see taking care very good about their fighters, so I I will be taking care from them. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.